You are listening to Matins in the Morning from the St. Thomas More House of Prayer, a Catholic retreat center in Cranberry, Pennsylvania, that is dedicated to praying and promoting the Liturgy of the Hours. Matins, or Office of Readings, consists of hymns and psalms, along with passages from sacred scripture and tradition for meditation and prayerful reflection. According to the Catholic Church, the treasures of revelation and tradition to be found in this prayer are a true gift to the faithful from Christ our Lord. Thank you for allowing us to share this gift with you. For more information about the St. Thomas More House of Prayer, visit our website at liturgyofthehours.org. In the name of the Father, Father, and of the Son, Son, and and of the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Open, O Lord, my mouth to bless your holy name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and kindle my affections, that I may worthily, attentively, and devoutly say this office, and so deserve to be heard before the presence of your divine majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in union with that divine intention with which you praise God while you are on earth, I offer to you this hour. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. The advent of our King, our prayers must now employ, and we must hymns of welcome sing, in strains of holy joy. The everlasting Son, incarnate deigns to be, himself a servant's form puts on, to set his servants free. Daughter of Zion, rise, to meet thy lowly King, nor let thy faithless heart despise the peace he comes to bring. As judge on clouds of light, he soon will come again, and all his scattered saints unite with him in heaven to reign. Rise up, Lord, and come to my aid. O Lord, plead my cause against my foes. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise to help me. O Lord, say to my soul, I am your salvation. But my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, and rejoice in his salvation. My whole being will say, Lord, who is like you, who rescue the weak from the strong, and the poor from the oppressor? Lying witnesses arise, and accuse me unjustly. They repay me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rise up, Lord, and come to my aid. O powerful Lord, stand by me and defend me. When they were sick, I went into mourning, afflicted with fasting. My prayer was ever on my lips, as for a brother, a friend. I went as though mourning a mother, bowed down with grief. Now that I am in trouble, they gather, they gather and mock me. They take me by surprise and strike me and tear me to pieces. They provoke me with mockery on mockery and gnash their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All-powerful Lord, stand by me and defend me. My tongue will We'll speak of your goodness all the day long. O Lord, how long will you look on? Come to my rescue. Save my life from these raging beasts, my soul from these lions. I will thank you in the great assembly. Amid the throng I will praise you. Do not let my lying foes rejoice over me. Do not let those who hate me unjustly wink eyes at each other. O Lord, you have seen. Do not be silent. Do not stand afar off. 
Awake, stir to my defense, to my cause, O God. Let there be joy for those who love my cause. Let them say without end, Great is the Lord who delights in the peace of his servant. Then my tongue shall speak of your justice all day long of your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My My tongue tongue will speak speak of your goodness goodness all the day day long. Let your compassion come upon me, Lord. Your salvation true to your promise. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day the Egyptians shall be like women, trembling with fear, because of the Lord of hosts shaking his fist at them. And the land of Judah shall become a terror to the Egyptians. Every time they remember Judah, They shall stand in dread because of the plan which the Lord of hosts has in mind for them. On on that day there shall be five cities in the land of Egypt, speaking the land of Canaan, and swearing by the Lord of hosts. One shall be called City of the Sun. On that day there shall be an altar to the Lord in the land of Egypt, and a sacred pillar to the Lord near the boundary. It shall be a sign and a witness to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt, when they cry out to the Lord against their oppressors, and he sends them a savior to defend and deliver them. The Lord shall make himself known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. They shall offer sacrifices and oblations, and fulfill the vows they make to the Lord. Although the Lord shall smite Egypt severely, he shall heal them, They shall turn to the Lord, and he shall be won over and heal them. On that day there shall be a highway from Egypt to Assyria. The Assyrians shall enter Egypt, and the Egyptians enter Assyria, and Egypt shall serve Assyria. On that day Israel shall be a third party with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing in the midst of the land, when the Lord of hosts blesses it. Blessed be my people Egypt, and the work of my hands Assyria, and my inheritance Israel. On that day the Egyptians will acknowledge the Lord. With offerings and gifts they will worship him. They will come from east and west, from north and south, to be seated at the feast in the kingdom of God. With offerings and gifts they will worship him. From the Proslogion by St. Anselm Insignificant man, escape from your everyday busyness for a short while, hide for a moment from your restless thoughts, break off from your cares and troubles, and be less concerned about your tasks and labors. Make a little time for God and rest a while in Him. Enter into your mind's inner, inner chamber, shut out everything but God and whatever helps you to seek Him. And when you have shut the door, look for him. Speak now to God and say with your whole heart, I seek your face, your face, Lord, I desire. Lord, my God, teach my heart where and how to seek you, where and how to find you. Lord, if you are not here, where shall I look for you in your your absence? Yet if you are everywhere, why do I not see you when you are present? But surely you dwell in light inaccessible. And where is light inaccessible? How shall I approach light inaccessible? Or who will lead me and bring me into it, that I may see you there? And then by what signs and under what forms shall I seek you? I have never seen you, Lord my God. I do not know your face. Lord Most High, what shall this exile do so far from you? What shall your servant do, tormented by love of you and cast so far from your face? He yearns to see you, and your face is too far from him. He desires to approach you, and your dwelling is unapproachable. He longs to find you, and does not know your dwelling place. He strives to look for you, and does not know your face. Lord, you are my God, and you are my Lord, and I have never seen you. You have made me and remade me, and you have given me all the good things I possess, and still I do not know you. I was made in order to see you, and I have not yet done that for which I was made. Lord, how long will it be? 
How long, Lord, will you forget us? How long will you turn your face away from us? When will you look upon us and hear us? When will you enlighten our eyes and show us your face? When will you give yourself back to us? Look upon us, Lord, hear us and enlighten us. Show us your very self. Restore yourself to us, that it may go well with us whose life is so evil without you. Take pity on our efforts and our striving toward you, for we have no strength apart from you. Teach me to seek you, and when I seek you, show yourself to me, for I cannot seek you unless you teach me, nor can I find you unless you show yourself to me. Let me seek you in desiring you, and desire you in seeking you, find you in loving you, and love you in finding you. Never will we leave you, Lord. You fill us with life, and we, sh will, and we will call on your name. Show us your face, and we shall be saved. Remember us, Lord, because of the love you have for your people. Come and bring us your salvation. Show us your face, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus our, our Lord, Lord save, save us from, from our sins. sins. Come, Come protect us from all dangers, dangers and lead us to salvation. salvation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. To the most holy and undivided Trinity, to the humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, to the fruitful virginity of the most blessed and glorious Mary ever virgin, and to the whole company of the saints, be everlasting praise, honor, and glory by all creatures, and to us remission of all our sins, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father, and blessed be the breast which nourished Christ the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.